And welcome back to yet another Buffalo Blue Jays pregame show. I'm your host, Randy Jared, is here doing all the analysis. And we are excited as the Blue Jays, 14 and 13, are getting ready to face the 9 and 20 Red Sox. Coming off a sweep of their last home series, they've had some success playing here in Buffalo. And we'd like to see that continue with three games against the Boston Red Sox. And why is the, the Boston Red Sox the enemy of Buffalo baseball? Well, gather around, everyone. I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, we all thought for the past uh, 20 years or so that it was truly the New England Patriots that were the true enemies of the city of Buffalo. Well, in fact, let me tell you that that is actually not the case. We've had an enemy for the past 120 years, and that enemy is actually the Boston Red Sox. And more specifically, a man by the name of Van Johnson. Van Johnson was the CEO of what was known as the Western League. It was a minor league baseball league between 1895 and 1899. And basically his goal was to make a new major league to compete with the National League. And guess what that league ended up being called? The American League? The American League. Very good. So this was the, the birth of the American League. And Buffalo was right there in the center of it all. And basically, all bets, all bets were there. We were, we were going to be part of the American League. Eight cities were picked. They said Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, Buffalo, Milwaukee, Washington, Baltimore, and Philadelphia were going to be a part of this new league, and it was all part of the minor leagues already. And uh, James Franklin, the, the manager of the Bisons, even gave um, – Van Johnson, a, uh, a deposit saying, yeah, here's some money for the league. Though. Let's, let's get it going. Let's go. Uh, so every, so everything was good to go. And then at the very last second, because Van Johnson had an agenda, he always wanted Boston to be part of it. But the problem was they didn't have a place to play for a while. At the very last second, they found a really crappy place to play in Boston. And now Boston people might not like that. I said that, but to be quite honest with you, I really don't care. It was called the Huntington Avenue Grounds. And basically, it was a very dangerous place to play 120 years ago. But they made it happen anyway, even though Buffalo was much safer. Alas, they went to Boston, uh, screwed over Buffalo 100%. And, uh, and then for nearly 120 years, with the exception of uh, 1915, no professional major league baseball in Buffalo. And in that little bit of time that there was uh, professional baseball in 1915, we didn't play Boston from what I understand. So do you understand the gravity of this? I feel like Bill Belichick's involved somehow. Yes. I mean, we, I'm going to study the, gene, uh, the genealogy charts and see if Van Johnson is related to Belichick in some way. Um, I probably won't do that, but what, but if you are welcome to do that, I, I don't have the time, <laughs> but I will say this, um, it's 120 years and I, I don't know of a, a bigger story than that, quite honestly, where like it came down to two cities, one team, one got it and, it and they have a huge history of baseball where Buffalo would have been a baseball town. It really would have been. And, and then, it, and then, and then it's not, and it never came it never came close to being part of the American League after that. Um, so this is, this is an opportunity for the city of Buffalo to, to show Boston what they were missing out on because they, they're coming here. They don't have a choice. <laughs> it's scheduled <laughs> here. So, um, so I really want to win these three games. Like I want to win these three games probably more than any other games that are happening all season, to be quite honest. I like the idea that they're all like, actual chowder heads from Boston. They're like, Tom Brady said that there's no good hotels here in Buffalo. <laughs> Let's not even go there. <laughs> well, now he's an enemy of Boston too, so whatever. Oh, there you go. So the enemy of our enemy is our friend. Go Brady. Uh, moving on to the actual games that are going to be played this week. Uh, we do have three games coming up, and the pitching rotation is a little uncertain. We have uh, – devastation it would seem on the starting rotation for the blue jays um how do you any thoughts on how you see the uh matchup going on the next three games oh goodness i hope that thornton can get healthy quicker than he's projected to 
Um, as for Schumacher and Pearson, they just got to get back as quick as they can. But what I think is actually going to happen is I think there's going to be some sort of an impulsive trade that comes up soon because they got to get a pitcher involved. Right now they're, they're eighth place for the playoff hunt. So this is a season where they actually could go to the playoffs because of there being eight slots now. So I think they're going to do everything they can to win. Um, so I see some sort of a trade coming up and hopefully it won't be a bad trade. We'll have to see what they end up doing. Now I can't imagine this being the only time in, in the major league history where a bunch of starters go out um, in your history of watching baseball. What have you seen teams do? Um, well, you have a minor league system, so you could, there's always a chance to draw players up from your minor league system. Uh, any relief pitchers that you that you have on your staff that might be ready to make a move to starter, or perhaps your starters in the past. Uh, and like you said, there's always a, a trade that is possible, um, especially with teams that are not doing so well, you know, that have expiring contracts. That that is a very common thing in baseball to pick up extra players. And I wouldn't be surprised at all with the stretch of schedule they have coming up uh, after. The Red Sox, they have the Orioles and um, Miami coming up. And that's three winnable series. Like the next stretch of like 10 games or so is a really good chance for them to pick up some wins if they can. Because um, they have to play the Yankees 10 more times coming up in, like, in the stretch, end stretch of the season. So they need to start piling up some wins right now to maintain that chance to lose the first round of the playoffs, <laughs> hopefully. Um, World Series, man. Well, I know I have the prize. I have the prize. But first, we got the World Series in Buffalo. That's the goal. That is the goal. That's why we're here. Um, so, I would also be, have my eyes out looking for a trade as well. Um, looking over a quick brush of statistics, uh, even though their schedule is much worse, Boston does have a greater runs per game and batting average than Toronto. Um, starting pitch is struggling, but the relief has done well for Toronto. Do you see this being – you see trouble keeping the Boston offense down? Well, you know what that those stats remind me of? That reminds me of the Phillies a lot. Like, in both of the Phillies games, especially the one Phillies game, where that's the second one where they pretty much destroyed Thornton and they, they retired him in the middle of the first inning. Like, it was like seven zip or something like that. I don't remember the exact score. And, um, and you thought it was over. And then – what happens? The Blue Jays come back in, in extra innings and they win nine to eight. Now, how does that happen? Bless you. Uh, how does that happen? That happens because the Phillies basically had no relievers, like no, no good dugout. And they just fell apart after their starter went out. So my hope is that the same thing will kind of happen in the Red Sox game. I don't know how great their, their relievers are, but if they're anything like the Phillies relievers, then – I think we have a chance to come back towards the end of each game. That's kind of how it looks statistically. All right. Well, let's keep those pitch counts up then, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to make your predictions first, or is it my turn? Um, you know what? Why don't you just go ahead, because that just seems like the right thing to do. Well, we had – I. it felt so good predicting a sweep and then coming true last week. I'm going to pick another sweep against the Red Sox. I have us winning 5-3 in the first game Tuesday, 8-2 Wednesday, and 4-3 on Thursday for another sweep for the Buffalo Blue Jays. Well, Randy, we have a pattern when you go first. For some reason, I seem to pick the exact same uh, wins, and that is the case here again, despite um, the runs and the batting average. I, too, believe, mainly based on my thirst for revenge, that the Blue Jays are going to sweep the Red Sox. This is their best opportunity to sweep. A little bit of pitching uncertainty, but I think they'll get it done. Um, I see the first game doing pretty good, 11 to 3. Uh, second game, 4 to 3. And last game, uh, I think everyone's going to get tired by then. Let's go 2 to 1 in the final game. Awesome. Well, we'll be back later in the week as the for the next home series. And thank you so much for listening to Buffalo Blue Jays Baseball.